mind, Xenophytes. Yes? What is it? We have detected forces on the outskirts of our hive. Who comes to be consumed by the Tyranids? It is the Chaos Space Marine. Any prime targets? What is the size of their force? An elite force with land raiders and a flying demon prince. Show me the battlefield. Show me the mission and the battle time, and if any objectives, reveal them to me. So today's mission, we rolled a one, which is the Crusade. Now this one is one of the objective based games. We must roll a d3 plus two for primary objectives. Each of the objectives are worth three points. The standard secondary objectives apply, so war slay the Warlord, First Blood, and Line Breaker. And we rolled a number four for the deployment, which is Hammer and Anvil, which is great for a shooting army, not so good for the Tyranids. So here are the objectives, a platypus in the middle, a frog by the big ruins, and another platypus by the forest. Deploy the forces. Let all be consumed. So here we are, my wing hive tyrant, uh, exocrine, warriors, biovore in the ruins, my other hive tyrant, 30 hormigaunts, the venom throat, free carn effects, turvagon, and 30 termagons, all packed in together and ready to advance towards the chaos space marines. So the psychic powers, I rolled a 2 and a 6, which is the horror. Which isn't going to really do a lot, because nothing in his army can be pinned. And Warp Blast, which could come in handy later on. My second Wing Hive Tyrant, rolling a 2 again, and a 5. So we've got the Horror again, but this time we have Psychic Scream, which is similar to what the Doom and Malantai used to do, and we'll see if that's any really effective. And the Turvagon, rolling 6. So here we have the Chaos Space Marines deployment, all bunched up together. For a more detailed description, I've put a link to the video in the description below. Demon Prince of Zeech rolled on Biomancy and got Enfeeble. And Typhus rolled Weapon Virus, Malediction making weapons get hot, and also rolled Plague Wind. It is night fighting. And the Chaos Space Marines did not seize the initiative! So I have moved up all of my Termagants, the full 6 inches, and spread them out a little bit to get the maximum amount of cover. I've moved everything 6 inches as much as possible, get near the Venom Throat in the middle. The Warriors are over by the side of the Biovore, the Exocrine is doing its thing. The Hive Tyrant has decided to fly 24 inches, so they get a bit of cover from those trees, anything shooting from this side. And now we're going to go into the shooting phase. Six inches. Hormagorn's running. Two. But I've got fleet, so I'll re-roll that. Still a two. So it'll be a five with their plus three rule. The con effects is will run six inches. The hive tyrant will run just gonna do it five inches. And the venom throat will run five inches as well. And the I'm gonna check the distance for the exocrine thing, so I'm gonna run him. Two inches. Absolutely everything up. Closing down the gap between my opponent and myself. I now have the wing type turret shooting at these plague marines. Twelve shots, meaning freeze. I'm needing freeze to wound. 
three up armor saves. And then five up, feel no pains. Wow. That's first blood, right? <laughs> oh. With my murder sword, I have to declare a character. Uh, I'm choosing this. Uh, high time. Which, which is my is, warlord. Yeah. And very far up the field. Yeah. Okay. Let's go into your turn one. To everyone, what's your movement? Phase was like. I moved everything mm -hmm. closer to the Tyranids. Um, flew the winged demon prince over to meet his mate. So they're having a treehouse party, really? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Typhus climbed up on the bunker. Mm -hmm. and he wanted a better view. He didn't need any shorts. And then he needed a box. Yeah. Everything else just kind of crept forward. Okay. Let's go on to your shooting phase. For those playing Marines at the Wingclad Baron. I'm going to hit on three up. Or sixes, because you're flying. I knew that. Oh, the dixies! I'm going to do a grounding test in a minute. Yeah. Needing sixes? Nothing. Grounding test of a three up. It's going well for the Tyranids! Wound myself on a two up. I wound myself. Yay, I'm grounded. And I've lost a wound. Found good that now grounded wing type tyrant. He's uh, stubbed his toe on one of the trees, so he's fallen down. My melt's are out of range. The melt's are out of range! It's freeze now. And sixes. I'm doing really well with rolling today. He's on two. Two. Wounds. Violet is going to fire its big pie blade right here, trying to get the Carnifexes and the Venom. It scatters. Let's see how far it goes. Gets one Carnifex and a lot of Gaunts. Eight. And then the Carnifex is the green dice. On the Gaunts and one on the Carnifex. So we'll now determine how much cover I actually get. The filer. Could see the card effects, but he is covered by a lot of gods. So, shooting through my models, night fighting, and venom ropes, extra extra bit. On the reds and a two on the dice that have failed me so far. Two gaunts go down. And now, at the throat of venom. Freeze and reroll everything. You don't want to reroll that. You, you didn't want to reroll that. Now needing two. Ah. Oh. Okay, so the red one is the last cannon. If I fail that one, he's instantly killed. Ooh. But the other land raider is going to do the same. So I think we found the uh, uh, weakness of Venifrut is uh, land raider las cannon shots mm -hmm. and heavy bolters. Mm -hmm. Do I need to freeze? Need to be right. Yeah. And now, if you roll ones, I will give you a hug. That's one one. Ah, oh, you could have you one said hug. Plural. No, yeah. You said ones. Yeah. Okay, and that was the heavy bolter, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a heavy bolter shot. So I'm going to roll the uh, two heavy bolters. Ooh. And he's dead. So I've now lost a whole lot of cover. Turn one. And that's first blood for the Chaos. Berker's running four inches towards my goal. Rainies, I'm going to fire at the Hormagontos. Needing threes. And then needing my toughness is free, so you're going to need freeze. Yes. Okay. Uh, one goes down. <laughs> so uh, that was turn one for me. Uh, not great. I killed a plague marine and moved everything up really fast. So. When I thought Tyranids weren't very manoeuvrable, they're still quite fast because if you run them, obviously, they go pretty fast. Um, 
A little bit of flaw of this list against this Chaos Space Marine list. Um, this Tyranid army is great against infantry. The psychic powers I've rolled, pinning or um, psychic scream and uh, stuff like that. And he's got armor 12 and 14s, and then things that can't be pinned because they're fearless. Uh, I'm hoping turn two my Morlocks come in and I can start taking some casualties down but this is a very tough army and it's going to take quite a lot of turns to even whittle them down. Um, so uh, let's see uh, how I can do in the next turn. So how did you and your Chaos Marines do? Um, <clears throat> not bad, took a couple of wounds off the flying high tone, uh, flew up grounded him so he's now walking around the rest of us. Um, killed off the Venomthrope in hindsight, should have probably done that first because then I could have shot everything else and wounded them a bit more but um, mm. never mind, so you live and learn. Uh, well the Venomthrope doesn't. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Um, but uh, yeah, interesting. We'll see how it gets when uh, some of the other monstrous creatures come out and start eating. Again, Morlocks, uh, they're great against infantry, but not a whole lot of infantry in your list. No. No. Um, Goodo, let's see how well we'll do in turn two.